Zumi's prayers, so glorious. Distantly are mountains, ghostly in the fading twilight and gentle rain. The earth is being refreshed from the day. Some overarching care has cherished and nurtured it. The likes of us trudge wearily off to evening rest. Was any trespass avoided in the day? No, it was not. But already you have forgiven us, seen in the fading of the day and in its thirst for you. How can one so desire us that all trespass is overlooked? Silence befalls the land. It spins west to empty itself into Balboa's ocean, there to be washed over, cleansed and carried to unknown lands. We are being swallowed by the sea, a picture of the emptying of all things which have been. Nothing was intended to last, the sea nor I, the sky nor anything which has occurred. You desire a new world, past the necessity of this world. We have been carried along without thinking much about it. Our ignorance is profound, profounder more than we can imagine. See how we murdered the son sent to save us, and by your death did so. It is our lives which fade in the twilight, in the rain. We are the emptying of the earth, spilled out to an unknowable future. The earth we have seen is not what it was, nor what it will be. We have no capacity to envision the colors, the tastes and sounds of an unexpected world. Ours are limited dimensions, in heaven limitless, opening possibilities which cannot be imagined. We have known a paltry material world and the forces attached to it. We have known nothing of the spirit yet to be unleashed. Here we were sown to a future body and spirit we have not seen. Look at the multitudes of giraffe shapes, elephant shapes, the colorful fishes of the sea, the enormous and powerful bodies of the heavens. We will be more than any of these. From a plain seed sown in the ground, we rise up a mystery. The bare grain is the body, putting on the risen plant as a garment. And it is said that this seed dies, as we know, as all men have done so. But the spirit does not die, it lives on in mystery. The first creation gave only the provisional form in which your purpose with reference to man was embodied and looked forward to a higher embodiment of the same idea on a higher pneumatic plane, the realm of the spirit. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is of heaven. Yet one cannot posit the form or substance of this. We are told flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, yet nothing is said of the question of substance. The resurrection body and spirit will be of the image of that of Christ, so glorious as to be without words to conceive. Amen.